Sumit, your interview was scheduled for today. Yeah. Is it right time to talk to you? Yes, it's right time. Okay, let's begin your interview. Okay, first tell me why string class has been made immutable in Java. Yeah, string class is immutable in Java as we know. Immutable objects are the ideal for representing values of abstract data. Uh, types like numbers, enumerated types, etc. And if you need a different value, create a different object in Java. Integer, long, float, character, big integer, and big decimal are all the immutable objects in Java. And the optimization strategies like caching of hash code, caching of object, object pooling, etc. can be easily applied to improve the performance. And if strings were made mutable, then string pooling would not be possible as changing the string with one reference will lead to the wrong value of the other references and due to immutability it also provides the thread safety of objects and they can only be used as read only objects they can easily be shared among the multiple threads for the better uh, scalability okay how you implement polymorphism in your project Normally, we are developing our application by using interface-based approach. Uh, for example, we have service layer in our project structure and service implementation layer also. So, my controller need to inject service implementation to get the business functionality because our business logic will be in the service layer. So, in this case, in controller class, we are injection service being by taking service interface reference. So I will use at the rate auto void in annotation to inject the object. How will you write code for this? Can you explain? Uh, yes, for example, we have one interface that, uh, that is bank service interface. And in this interface, I will declare one method like uh, public void do transaction. And uh, then I will create the implementation class for this interface like public class bank service implementation implements bank service interface and now i must need to override the method of bank service interface then i will write the implementation for this method and at class level i will use at the rate service annotation so spring will create the bean for this class and i can use this bean inside our controller class and if i want to use this business logic in our controller class then i will create one class public class bank controller and i will use at the rate controller annotation at class level and then i will create the object of bank service interface and i will use at the rate auto wide annotation on this and here when i will declare like this then internally ioc container instantiate my service being as below a like this bank service service is equal to new bank service implementation create the new object okay what is serialization uh, the, the serialization is a process where we can change state of object to the file uh, over the network or simply we can transfer our object from uh, one layer to another layer that's why java provides a streaming api have you implemented serialization in your project uh, yeah in my project i used in pojo class means uh, my pojo class should be implements from serializable interface because uh, that business object will be transferred over the network and that's why it's recommended to implement business object from serializable interface and it is a marker interface do you know about agile methodology yes, we are also following agile methodology in our project what are the main roles in scrum uh, the scrum consists of mainly three roles like uh, one is first is product owner and here product owner usually represent the client and act as a point of contact from client side and the one who prioritize the list of product backlogs with scrum team should finish and release and another is scrum master that uh, scrum master act as a facilitator to the scrum development team and clarify the queries and organize the team from distraction and teach the team how to use scrum and also concentrate on return on investment so it will be responsible for managing the sprint and uh, scrum development team in that's developers and qs team who develop the product scrum development team 
decide the effort estimation to complete a product and define the backlog items so scrum team a cross functional self organization group of dedicated people like that will be business product owner analyst and developer and qa team how to create web services project and spring project using maven yes we can create project like simply we have to create one maven project like we can create maven archetype web app and then add the dependency from our local repository and if available it if available then okay otherwise it will download from the sample repository in pom.xml and it will add the spring dependency along with checks ws implementation class dependency in our pom.xml then it will download its dependency also like this we can create okay why why wait method placed in object class why not it is placed in thread class yeah uh, very simple reason behind it actually wait method is used to wait the thread of execution and it used for inter thread communication to avoid data inconsistency uh, so first reason is wait method and notify method also are not specific for single object it can be applied on any object and the second reason is it it will represent in thread class then one thread have to know the status of another thread for example we have four threads like thread 1 thread 2 thread 3 and thread 4 and thread 4 so in inter thread communication lock will be applied on objects by thread so which thread apply lock that only known to object so simply locking mechanism no way related to thread it's related to object so that was the main reason okay which design pattern you used in your project in my project i have used modularization singleton design pattern and facet design pattern and also used service locator design pattern okay where you implement multi threading in your project as uh, you know i have 3 years of experience in development and i did not get a chance to work on multi threading environment and this part is developed by our uh, senior team members but i have awareness on multi threading and i know how to work okay how you implement exception handling in your project uh, there are multiple ways like uh, normally we are developing spring based application Uh, so in spring to handle exception multiple predefined classes there uh, so simply in my project we are throwing custom exception from service layer and then my controller call service it will catch that exception by using spring aop and uh, we have to create a class which should be annotated as at the rate controller advice and we have to take one method whose return type is model and view and uh, the method should be annotated with the annotation like at the rate exception handler annotation will be at method level so in this method we have to write the logic for map the exception and return the same view which is returned by controller class at the time of exception rise and we have to return some user understandable message by view page mm, so like this we implement the custom exception in our project Okay now tell me in your project where you used concurrent hash map Yes I have used concurrent hash map in my project also uh, I did not remember the situation exactly but in the situation where I have to write the code in map I have to put the value inside map and at the same time I am reading the value from the map In that situation we will also use concurrent hash map Well, suppose i have one requirement where multiple threads want to access or modify the underlying data structure of map means one thread try to insert element in the key and value pair and another thread try to modify the sum element at the same times then in this situation better to prefer concurrent hash map because instead of hash map it will raise the concurrent modification exception so in this situation we must use the concurrent hash map apply lock on the specific entry not in the complete map object okay list out all annotation of rest used in your projects 
uh, in my project i have used mostly lots of annotations like uh, at the rate application path annotation at the rate path to define the path of the controller level at the rate consumes will define the consume in which xml or json that we want to consume and at the rate produces will also work same and uh, i at the rate post annotation if i am writing the data into db and at the rate get to read the data from database and at the rate put also to modify the already existing object and at the rate delete annotation to delete the object from db and at the rate form param and like this more annotation at the rate path param etc we have used okay how to create a spring boot project in spring boot project yes we can in spring boot project folder structure the main method is the heart of the spring boot application to run the application and uh, on this class we will use at the rate spring boot application annotation and the at the rate spring boot application annotation is the same as we can also use at the rate enable auto configuration annotation at the rate configuration and at the rate component scan with default attributes and uh, like this we can use at the rate spring boot configuration annotation and we can use at the rate configuration annotation also at class level and the main method will be the heart for this project okay okay how to implement swagger to in your project yes we can implement swagger to make the api documentation with docket and for this we need to use at the rate configuration annotation at class level and we need to write at the rate enable swagger to annotation and this annotation enable the swagger in our project and we also need to create bean for docket api and it will return the return new docket and inside parameter we will write documentation type dot swagger to and like this we will call select method and dot api method and here is also that paths dot paths method and dot build method here we will write the path for the api the we can say that at the rate enable swagger to annotation is used to enable the swagger to and once the docket bean is specified select method returns an api select builder instance and this instance is used to determine how to control the exposed endpoints and at request handler selector and path selector are used to configure predicates so for a request handler selection and lastly any dot any method that will facilitate the documentation using swagger so above configuration can be used to integrate swagger to with the spring boot application okay what are the challenges you faced while using microservices uh, yes we are already working on microservice architecture in our project and microservices always rely on each other so therefore uh, they need to communicate with each other as it is distributed system it is a heavily involved model if we are using microservice architecture we you need to ready for operations overhead you need skilled professional to support heterogeneous distributed microservices how do you override a spring boot project default properties yes we can override the default properties of spring boot project and this can be done by specifying the properties in application dot properties file that will be available in our resource folder and for example in spring mvc application you have to specify the suffix and prefix and this can be done by entering the properties mentioned below in application dot properties we can like write uh, spring dot mvc dot view dot suffix uh, dot gsp and uh, for prefix we can write like this uh, spring dot mvc dot view dot prefix like its path slash web hyphen inf like this we can override and we can also write override the server dot port and we can define our manual port number on which our spring boot project will run okay what is the role of aquator in spring boot uh yeah uh, it is a new feature provided by spring boot and it is the most important features like uh, which helps you to access the current state of an application that is running in production environment and there are multiple metrics which can be used to check the current state they also provide endpoints of restful web services which can be simply used to check the different metrics okay thanks i have done from my side
If you have any queries, then ask me. No, I have not any query. Mm -hmm.